My roommate at the time was a man by the name of Dale. He was an odd fellow. At first, things didn't seem out of the ordinary. He would keep to himself and let me go about my business with a casual hello here and there and the normal chit chat of acquaintances. It wasn't until a couple months into living with each other that I started to notice strange patterns in his behavior. Sometimes I would hear from the bathroom him repeating different greetings, almost as if rehearsing them, and he would say them to me identically when he first saw me that morning. I noticed odd stains on his clothes. In our brief exchanges, I would see his facial expressions radically change and seem to bear no relation to what I was saying. From time to time, I would awake in the middle of the night to the sounds of a gentle weep coming from his bedroom. This continued on for some time and wasn't mentioned between us when finally one night I decided to check on him and make sure he was all right. I went to his door and gave a gentle knock. There was no answer. He continued his weeping sob as I stood there. Dale. I asked him from outside the door and gave another knock at the door and gave another knock at the door, this time not quite as gentle. With growing concern, I continued to hear him cry. So I opened the door slowly and found him in there silent. He was sitting on the floor, cross-legged in his underpants, wearing the type of mask you would find at a masquerade with a long, protruding beak. He was staring at me with a soft smile. I asked him if everything was okay, and he remained there, silent, staring at me. I closed the door and left him there, and it was never spoken of again. I ended up moving from the apartment soon after, and I never spoke to him again. I think about him every now and then, though, and I wonder what he's up to. <laughs>